Okay guys, this is going to be a two-part series. Uh, this is the first part of the two where I'm going to explain how to raid two drives together. Part two will explain how to delete that raid if you ever wanted to do so. So I have two uh, four terabyte hard drives here. They're external both USB connected and uh, I want to make an 8 terabyte hard drive out of them so what I'm going to do I'm going to open disk utility now I've seen a lot of searches on the internet of how to do this and I've yet to find an actual video that clearly shows you how. So, so the first thing you want to do is erase both drives. So you click the erase tab up top. The name you can just leave external, it's fine. And underneath the format you want to open and change to Mac OS Extended Journal. Now I've already done that for both of my drives, but once you're done you just would hit erase. It's going to unmount the drive. Just give it a couple of seconds and it'll come back. Okay, now we are back. Our drive has remounted itself. We don't want to use it for time machine. And we're done. Okay, so in order to set this up as a RAID, none of the options are here at the top in Disk Utility. So you actually have to go up to File and hit RAID Assistant. And what you're going to want to choose is this option down here, JBOD. And then you're going to hit Next. You're going to select uh, the two drives that you want. In my case, it's the Seagate Expansion Media and the Western Digital My Passport. Uh, both of them are external. And you're going to hit Next. Uh, at this point here, you can rename the drive. So for me, I would just like to put 8 terabyte storage. You don't change any of the other options, just leave them as it is. Hit next, create, and let it do its thing. Now this part could take a few minutes. Okay, now we're back. So now Time Machine is popping up and it's asking me if I want to use the 8 terabyte storage as backup. Of course, right now I don't want to do that. And my RAID has been created successfully. Hit Done. Now you can see that the two drives that were there before are no longer there. There's only one drive which has 8 terabytes of storage. Free is 8 terabytes. So you can see down below that the JBOD status, it's online, both drives are plugged in, they're online, and you can clearly see that it's two drives, both four terabytes, and they're both added together. So guys, that's it. Uh, so like I said, just a quick video, just wanted to show you how to merge two drives together. Um, obviously you can merge more than two drives. Just remember that the more drives you add to this, the greater the risk of failure. Obviously, if you put information on one drive, your risk of failure is low considering the fact that it's just one drive. The more drives you add to it, your risk of failure is higher because it stores the information across all drives. So if one drive fails, you've lost information that could pertain to some of the files that you stored on that extended uh, drive. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one.